What have you heard? I found him. Oh my. Where is he? Tell her straight. We found his body. No. No. It, it can't be. I don't think she knew. Oh God. Poor Daniel. How did it happen? He was attacked by wolves. I need to know exactly what happened between you two. Nothing. We did argue at times, but siblings argue, don't they? Aye. It doesn't normally lead to killing unless there's a lot of money involved. What did you argue about? What didn't we argue about? That foolish, obstinate man. Daniel's ghost haunts you now. Me? How am I to blame? That's interesting. I didn't say you were to blame. I mean... Why haunt me if he does not blame me? Well, there are other reasons for a haunting. But his is all about the treasure. He won't let you have it. I should have bloody known. I need to go in your house and look through his things. Do you mind? Since when did what I mind matter a moment around here? Do what you must. Look at you, playing the role of the worried sister. Been digging up gold and digging up worms, I know which I'd choose. Neither seems to have made them rich. They came prepared. Not prepared enough, it seems. I sense an echo somewhere nearby. A single point passes an infinity of paths. It's perfect. He'll never tell the difference. <laughs> you won't cross me, dear brother. Not me. She knew he'd steal the map, so she made it. A 
fake. He died because she tricked him. I wonder what she'll say when we tell her. Well, you've looked through our thing. Well, I... You're... I don't want... I know a... How to... Truly do... The... No. I said I'd help you. I keep my word. I'm afraid you must face your brother one last time. Daniel, it's time. Your sister's here. Show yourself. Not have it, you hear me? The treasure is mine. I see you, Dan. I see your ghost. And you're still mean. The Banisher will see to you. You fool no one, you gold grubbing harpy. Oh, not even death could give you manners. Enough, both of you. I'll have the truth now, if you please. And then I shall decide. Bastard! Snake! Black heart! Say that! Quiet! Oh, they... You? I am. You'll not. Nor will you now. Wait a. That chop! The... Edith and Daniel Keane. Your rivalry and greed caused this tragedy. Edith will never claim the treasure. Daniel, your demands are satisfied, and you may go. Is this the end? An end, and a new beginning. To a new beginning. To a new beginning. Cheers. There is nothing left for you here. You did right, Banisher. Well, you've looked through our things, such as they are, 
An Al Warren, you've learned. Well, I... You're... I don't want... I know a... How to... Truly... No. I said I'd have... You'll not have it. You hear me? The... I see... Fool... Enough... Of the truth. But... I... No, will you... Wait, that... The... Dan, not only... Dan, shall I... For me... Be gone. He got all that he deserved. Well? Well, I d You're... I don't I know a... How to... Truly do... No. I said I'd help... Young... I see you d Fool, no! Not even... Enough! Of the truth... Driven... Bastard! Snake! Black... Say that... Quiet! Oh, they... You? I am. Uh, You'll not. No, will you? No. Wait a that Edith Keen, you manipulated your brother, which led to his death. You've revealed your true character, and it poses a danger to the camp. You're full of shite. What'll you do about it anyway? I'll do right by everyone. That's what. Get away from me! Help me! Someone help me!
Well, you've looked through our things, such as they are, and I'll warrant you've learned nothing. Well, I do have more questions. You're very helpful, friendly and amenable. Is it an act? I don't understand. Why would you ask such a thing? I know about your forged map. I know you know why Daniel is missing. How do... Banish a thing, huh? That old fool's greed got him killed, not me. Truly does she love him so. Don't you feel at least a little guilty? No, not a little, not in the least, not at all. I said I'd help you. I keep my word. I'm afraid you must face your brother one last time. Daniel, it's time. Your sister's here. Show yourself. You'll not have it. You hear me? The treasure is mine. I see you, Dan. I see your ghost. And you're still mean. The Banisher will see to you. You fool no one, you dog-grubbing harpy. Oh, not even death could give you manners. Enough, both of you. I'll have the truth now, if you please. And then I shall decide. Driven by greed, you went after the treasure alone. You double-crossed your sister. Bastard! Snake! Black-hearted blackguard! Say that again, you ramp! Quiet, the both of you. This family has two black sheep and they're both utter pains in the ass. Edith, you faked a map and fooled your brother. This is how that ended. You did what? I had no choice. I couldn't trust you, and I were right. You'll not have the treasure, you snake. Nor will you, now that you're dead. You'll not squander it on cursed land like a rustic fool. We'd have been better off in England. You know it, but you would not listen. That choice was not yours to make! The truth is told. Decision time. Edith and Daniel Keane, your rivalry and greed caused this tragedy. Edith will never claim the treasure. Daniel, your demands are satisfied, and you may go. Is this the end? An end, and a new beginning. To a new beginning. To a new beginning. Cheers. You have no more reason to stay.
You did right, Banisher. Well, well, I do. You're very. I don't understand. I know about you. How do. Truly does she. Don't. No. I said I'd help you. Daniel, it's. You'll not have it. You hear me? The treasure is mine. I see you, Dan. I see your ghost. And you're still mean. The Banisher will see to you! You fool no one, you gold-grubbing harpy! Oh, not even death could give you manners! Enough! Both of you. I'll have the truth now, if you please. And then I shall decide. Driven by greed, you went after the treasure alone. You double-crossed your sister. Bastard! Snake! Black-hearted blackguard! Say that again, you ramp! Quiet! The both of you. Oh, this family has two black sheep and they're both utter pains in the ass. Edith, you faked a map and fooled your brother. This is how that ended. You did what? I had no choice. I couldn't trust you, and I were right. You'll not have the treasure, you snake! Nor will you, now that you're dead. You'll not squander it on cursed la- Wait a bit. The tre- The tre- Edith and Daniel Keane. Your Edith will never click. And to, to the There is nothing left for you here. You did right, Banisher.
Could bring Mistress Baru her oil and salt. Let me see if I can guess it from the look on your face. Do I now have what's needed for oat cakes? I do. I shall make oat cakes. You, Mr. McWraith, are a gentleman. And when I trade with a gentleman, I'm sure to make them pay extra. For you, I shall make an exception. I found a journal. It was written by someone who signed Lucy B. W. What did it say? The writer spoke of hunger, harsh winters, bad dreams. If I remember rightly, they described these nightmares as loath sumptuous. A stupid word. I made it up. I'd rather you hadn't read that. It belongs to me. You write well. Perhaps there's a book in you, a novel. All the rage in London, I'm told. <laughs> a book, he says. The world needs ale, Mr. McCraith. It does not need books. 
Would you be interested in a trade at all? What do you need? I'll take my leave. Have a good day, sir. Good day, Mr. Bachelor. What do you want now? Your Bibles, Mr. Bachelor. I doubted you. Forgive me, neighbor. You are indeed a good Samaritan. They shall find a good home in the school at New Eden. I must take my leave of you, sir. God be with you.
Maybe we can ask Seeker about the Rumble's mirror. Clever. <laughs>